Now let us solve another question on the topic addressing marks. Here the question is as follows. This question I think it was given in 2002. Okay. Now the consider a three word machine instruction add a of r0 comma at the rate b. Okay. Now uh, if you can have a look at this question, if you can have a look at this instruction, you can easily understand this instruction is in the format of I a comma b in which a is equal to a plus b right a is equal to a plus b the first one is the source as well as the destination the second operand is just the source operand so you can clearly see there is there are two operands in the instruction this is the first operand this is the second operand after fetching the effective addresses after fetching the operands both will get added and will be stored in the location of the first operand so this is how it is going to look like now if you can have a look at the question the first operand destination a of r0 uses indexed addressing mode with r0 as the index register of course this is specified in the index addressing mode that is a of r0 you know what is index register addressing mode in which the address part of the instruction will be added to an index register which is specified in the instruction a is going to specify the address part of the instruction which will get added to the index register which is specified in the instruction to fetch the effective operand okay at the rate b of course you know that at the rate b is nothing but indirect addressing mode right this is an indirect addressing mode this is what um, explained here at the rate b the second operand uses indirect addressing mode okay a and b are the memory addresses residing at the second and third words respectively this instruction is of three words you can see this is the first word this is an opcode this is the second word this is uh, the first operand this is the third word this is the second operand all right so the a and b are the memory addresses we know that during the execution of the add instruction the two operands are added and stored in this destination in the destination the first operand so as i told you already when these this instruction gets executed this instruction gets executed these two um, values will get added these two values will get added and will get located and stored in the first operand so now the question is what is the number of memory cycles needed during the execution cycle of this instruction that is how many times we are going to access memory when we execute this instruction let us have a look at how many memory cycles are actually needed okay now let me take the help of the main memory let us say this is main memory okay now what i need to execute what i need to perform the instruction is add add a of r0 comma at the rate b so in order to execute this instruction what we need to do is first you fetch each operand separately and then add those operands finally you transfer it to add a of r0 let us see how many memory cycles are actually needed how many memory access are actually needed at the rate b you know that indirect addressing mode will require two memory accesses at the rate b meaning let us say b is here okay we will access b okay we will go to the address of the b which is first access in which there is another address right effective address i can i can call it as x in b there is a x as the x is the effective address we need to access memory once again to fetch the operand okay here operand is available so at the rate b is going to give us 
two memory access does require two memory accesses okay for fetching the operand so after two memory access we are going to fetch this operand which is at the second operand now we need to get the first operand for the first operand how many memory accesses are actually required you know in the index register addressing mode as course this is the index register addressing mode in the index register addressing mode effective address will be calculated as effective address will be calculated as a register value plus memory address the address is given so it will give you effective address so r0 value will be added to a to get the memory address so a plus r0 which is a memory address will get located in the main memory to fetch the operand right so it takes one memory access at the rate b to takes a two memory access a of r0 clubbing a plus r0 we will get a value of an address going to that specific address we are going to get the second operand this is operand 2 okay so it requires one memory access because a plus r0 will give one address in which the operand is available so all together three access to the memory is required to fetch both operands so after three accesses we got both of the operands fetched now finally what we have to do we need to add this both okay this operand that is at the rate b should be added to the first operand right so after addition we do require to transfer the result back to the first address which requires one more memory access so all together total memory access will be equal to 4 that is at the rate b will take two memory access a of r0 will take one memory access to fetch the operands this is operand 1 this is operand 2 whatever you call okay both operands are fetched now we need to add this both operands and then we need to transfer it back to a of r0 location which is this one so finally in order to make a transfer i do require one more memory access okay so now i will write it here at the rate b two memory cycle memory cycles are access or one and the same a of r0 one memory cycle or memory access whatever you call to fetch the operands these are two fetch the operands after fetching both operands must be added okay and finally should transfer it to opr1 plus opr2 operand 1 and operand 2 must be added should get transferred to a of r0 okay again this a of r0 will require one more memory cycle memory cycle okay so that is 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 is equal to total four memory accesses four memory cycles are required to execute this instruction okay so this is the answer for it